This is a humanitarian crisis, a crisis of the heart and a crisis of the soul. President Trump tweeted an unverified claim about, quote, prayer rugs at the southern border on January 18th. The president's tweet referenced a Washington Examiner story in which an unnamed rancher in New Mexico connects the alleged discovery of presumably Muslim prayer rugs to, quote, terrorist threats. The general public just don't get the terrorist facts of that. And that's what's really scary is you don't know what's coming across. We found prayer rugs out here. The story provides no other evidence of prayer rugs beyond the rancher's statement. And the rancher does not explain how she knows these items in question are in fact prayer rugs. She also mentions migrants from Czechoslovakia at the border, when Czechoslovakia has not existed as a country since 1993. The president's tweet marks his latest attempt to bolster his claims of a growing security crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. Critics have called the move a prejudice scare tactic, citing the implication that all Muslims are terrorists as racist. This is not the first time claims of prayer rugs at the border have been used to stoke fears of terrorism. The idea has been circulating in far-right circles for years. Central to these claims is the idea that Muslim faith or Middle Eastern culture are synonymous with terrorism. In 2005, former Republican Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison from Texas spoke about prayer rugs at the border in a speech on the Senate floor. Along the Mexican border, there have been stories of suspicious items picked up by local residents, including Muslim prayer rugs, notebooks written in both Arabic and Spanish. There was no specific incident or photograph to accompany the claim. Breitbart published a story in 2014 about a prayer rug found in Arizona. Gawker.com later provided convincing analysis, indicating the image showed a torn Adidas jersey instead. Former Texas Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst claimed prayer rugs were discovered in Texas in 2014. Prayer rugs have recently been found on the Texas side of the border in the brush but was later called, quote, incorrect and ridiculous by PolitiFact. Trump and other members of his administration have continued to point to the baseless threat of terrorists at the border. But a lot of people don't say, we have terrorists coming through the southern border. People with suspicious backgrounds that may suggest terrorist connections were apprehended at our southern border. Terrorists try to get into our country lots of ways. One of the ways they can come in is across our southern border. The State Department has said there's no evidence of terrorists crossing the southern border. And the State Department says that there is, quote, their words, no credible evidence of any terrorists coming across the border from Mexico. There is no credible evidence that international terrorist groups have established bases in Mexico. Illegal border crossings are often measured by the number of people arrested by U.S. Border Patrol after entering. Border apprehensions remain at their lowest levels in decades.